everybody um, back again to do another retouch video for you guys uh, this time I will be working on um, a video a retouch video of a recent shoot that I did with my wife um, in Bali for her clothing design uh, be young contour so this time I have a new style of retouching that I have done. Um, I recently found a young lady uh, on YouTube uh, by the name of Bella Ortiz. Very good retoucher. And she taught me a few things uh, that I didn't know about retouching. And she has this amazing uh, action panel that she created herself. It works in 2000 and it works in CS, uh, CS5, CS6, and Photoshop CC. Uh, the panel actually doesn't work for CC 2014 and 2015, but the actions uh, still work. So when I open up in Photoshop, you actually see the actions itself. So I recommend that you follow her on Facebook and her website. I'll show you that in a few seconds. Let me. So, like usual, I change my amount to uh, 48 um, radius, 1.6, and my details to 38. And I go to the lens corrections and enable the lens profile correction. And as before, I retouch on 16 bit with 300 ppi. Shot this with my Canon 5D Mark III with a with the 7200 2.8 um, L lens. While it's loading, uh, I recommend that you guys go to her website, uh, Bella Ortiz Photography .com. And you can actually go here and follow her on YouTube, as well as purchase uh, her uh, retouching video tutorial bundle. And it comes with the panels and everything. And like I said before, the retouching panel is only good for CS5, 6, and CC. And it's really cheap, uh, really a good price. I think it's like 30 bucks or something like that. It's a really, really good price. And also, you can follow her on Facebook. Bell Ortiz. All right, so this video is going to take a little bit less time than my last one because of the, the workflow of the panel was actually really good and it saved me a lot of time uh, on retouching. So hopefully I'm, I'm going to go through the, the panel a little bit. Um, ho hopefully I can do a really good job at speaking on the panel because I didn't make it, but I know how to use a little bit of it. So first what I do is start my actions and I create it. I change my my uh, actions to button mode. That way it's a lot easier for me. And pretty much everything from the frequency separation all the way down to the uh, vintage part two is uh, her panel or her action that she basically created. So if you, when you purchase it, depending on what you use, um, she has a really nice panel that comes up and it's really cool, user-friendly. Uh, but because the panel doesn't work in CC uh, 15, I can't use the panel, so I just use the actions. But first what I do is we're going to clean up the face a little bit. So I start with the frequency separation texture. Click on the button, it automatically comes with the Gaussian blur. Uh, I keep it at 14 pixels. And what it does, it actually creates the actual frequency separation, um, the high copy and, and uh, the high and the low. So basically, we're going to be retouching on the high copy. 
which is basically um, clipped down to the actual high layer. So this is the easy part. Uh, this model was from Bali. Um, she had very good skin and so retouching her uh, has been really easy. Uh, as you can see, her skin is pretty even all the way through. Um, so this should be pretty quick retouch. So we we'll just remove some of the hair and some of the uh, imperfection that she has. Say this shouldn't take too long. So if you already know about healing brush, you can actually skip this part and go to the next section. So we'll just go around and just find this little parts that needs to be cleaned up. But again, this should be pretty easy. All right, so that part's done. Every good uh, photographer or retoucher uh, would love to work with a model with really good skin like this. It'll save you a lot of time in post edit. Last part. Okay. And usually, what I do to bring just a little bit of texture back into her skin, I go down to the low layer and I bring the fill down to about 90% or so. And it'll bring just a little bit of texture back. So, alright, so that part's done. Next, what we do is we click on the frequency separation blend mode. This basically deals with the blending of the texture and the skin color. Uh, we start out with a seven radius, and we're going to use a paintbrush flow at about three percent, three or four percent. And here we just Pretty much just pick the color of the skin. It's almost basically another form of dodge and burn, but we want to stay in the general area of where that color is. So we want to stay here, so we just kind of paint. I like seeing this stay in the general area. You really don't. Um, change any of the color, which is kind of blend it in a little bit. As you can see so far, just a little bit. it's very subtle. Just to give you an idea. So like um, the area is a little bit dark, so what we're gonna do we're gonna pick like this color right here and we're gonna just paint underneath the eye. Kind of blend it a little bit. And then we'll and then at the well afterwards we'll Blend it all together and it'll look a lot even more than it is right now. So, this is basically how it looks now. So, you see dark area, and like I said, we'll fix it. Highlight area,
just go around and just try to blend everything in. So for each section, I'm gonna work on one face and then blend everything and then the neck and then blend everything and then the arms and blend everything in. So we'll just do each section. Okay, so now so far, this is where we are so far. Okay, now what we do for this, we stay on the same layer, on low layer, copy two, selection tool, feather, zero pixel, and now we're going to select the area, copy, which is already um, an action in it selects it copies that selection that we did and then we hit blend and it brings up gaussian blur and here is where we can adjust uh how much radius we want we can go 40 uh which you really don't want or 60 you don't want but you want to stay around maybe 20 or so and kind of blend it in and once you do that you hit okay take the eraser tool because when you do that sometimes it spills over into the edges in places you want it. So you take the erase tool and you just erase away uh, those areas where it spilled over. Oops. So let me see where that went. Here, to get away, right here, right here. And it's a good blend. So then we merge layer down. That's everything is all there, it's really easy. And then we just continue on to the next area. So we get this little highlight area right here. And one trick um, is you want to work on the highlights and you want to kind of make them pop uh, what you do is you do the same thing you select the area you copy you change normal you change your blending mode to screen and then you blend and when you blend you put it to about 30 25 percent or so bring your feel down all the way down, maybe to about 30% or so. Probably lower than that, depending on what you have, what, what you're doing. You kind of make that, that highlight stand out. And the same thing, just erase away in, in the area where it might have over, where it's put over. layer so that's where we are now so we're going to continue just going around and basically just working on these areas this highlight area We don't have to really do the screening for every highlight, just a few. So right here, copy blend. Choose your radius, 13 is good. And merge layer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue to do uh, these sections are face and then I'll come back and do uh, the next area and neck area.
I don't want to bore you with this part right here. So I'll finish this last piece up and then I'll come back with the neck area. All right guys, so back. And this is what we have so far. We're doing the blending mode. Since before and then the after. Before and the after. All right, so we're gonna move on to the neck area. We're gonna go back to the, to the brush. And we're just gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna blend in those areas, that color. Just as cut my brush flow down by two hours. And I'm really happy that uh, I found her YouTube channel as well as uh, actually actually talking to her and her teaching me a little bit a little bit about retouching and her chant I mean her, her panels and everything and it turned out to be really good. Alright, so seems to be pretty good. Kind of just And we'll do the same thing. Copy. We'll do a highlight for this one. Screen. Blend. We'll do, we'll do 13. And we can bring this down to about 30% or so. Where's that layer down? Do the same thing for this area, neck. Copy and blend. Okay, merge layer. Get this part of the neck area. Copy, blend. And merge. Very simple, very easy, very effective. Then emerge down. That's simple. Kind of made the neck a little bit too light. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a layer mask on that and kind of bring that down a little bit. So we're gonna do black layer and we'll just kind of bring it down a little bit okay, that's better. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> okay so we're gonna move on to her shoulder area and her arm area so I want to just skip to this part because uh, pretty much self-explanatory through the whole entire thing. So I want to finish up this side of the arm and then I'll come back and go through this arm. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just finishing up her arm area here. to the next arm. <laughs> Alright, so that looks pretty good. So that's what we have so far. And like I say, we'll dodge and burn everything once we get finished doing all of this. So we're gonna move to our other side of our arm. Just this area right here.
there's a two. Okay. First down. There's a highlight area right here. It's a little bit. Merge layer. Yeah, we're gonna get this part of our and bend it over. First layer. We'll get this highlight area right here. And then we'll do copy screen then this one will do OT. And we'll bring the field down to about 30. So, a little bit lower. That's good. Merge. Put this dark area. Copy blend. Okay. Merge layer. It's on. Copy blend. Merge. Work on a leg. So we'll just get this whole part of our leg because it's pretty much all see through one color. So we'll just copy, blend, and hit OK. 13 pixels is good. Merge layer. This part of leg right here will blend this part and then we'll do this little highlight. Copy. And one thing that we forgot to do is blend it in with the with the brush tool. But we'll do that one next. Merge layer, the dark area. Copy blend. Bump this up a little bit. Merge layer. Look at this highlight. And copy. Screen. Blend. Bump it up a little bit. And bring the fill down. That's good. Down and get this last part of his leg. Copy and blend. Okay, and merge down. Good. So, so far, this is what we have. So let's do this last little part of the stomach area. Okay. Merge now. So we've got this part. Let's get this hair out of the way.
Let's see what we can do about this. So only that layer. Let's see what we can do. Trying to make it a little bit better. So now, keep it like that it really looks a little bit natural even though it's kind of a distraction but we might can fix that in dodge burn yeah let's try that let's fix that in dodge burn so we're gonna go here and next what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a micro dodge burn and what this does it basically creates a, a burn layer for darken and a dodge layer for lightning so in this case we want to lighten the area and usually what i do i use a black and white layer for help just so i can see what i'm doing so we're going to rotate this thing And we're going to choose a this up here. Okay, so we're going to choose a the lighting area. We're going to switch to white, and we're going to choose four percent. And we're just going to lighten this area. And hopefully that will kind of help out a little bit with blending it a little better. Okay. And next we're gonna do is we're gonna switch to the burn area. Burn this highlight area, this white area right here. Just to even it in. So we got now. It's a little bit better. This time let's try 
We'll fix the coloring. So we're gonna do a dodge and uh, macro dodge and burn, and choose a brush, four percent, and you're gonna choose a color. So we're gonna choose this color here. And we'll color back in over that over that area. It looks a little bit pale. Switch to black and white. We're going to use a black and white layer to for help, and we're just going to just dodge and burn these areas. So we got the four percent, and we see we're going to just build up. Build up and shake the face. So right now we're using a 50% gray uh, layer for this. So we got let's see what we can do about this. We can fill in her eyebrow. Going back to the previous separation, clone stamp. I uh, just gonna pick a general area and just kind of fill in her eyebrow. Burn and we'll continue on. Switch to white. That's not really good. So we just all we're doing is basically just building back up her face so her face will not look flat. So as so far what we have is before and then after. Before and then after. Down our neck area, we'll build this up. Switch to white. Little bit area down here. Burn. Go inside and we'll burn this shadowed area. Again, she has pretty, she has really good skin, so it's very easy to just lighten this a little bit, darken this a little bit. She has pretty good skin, so it's really easy to retouch her. Get a leg. Okay. 
Stay her hair area right here. So we're gonna use the highlight area. Just highlight her hair. darker Area right here later. Okay. So let's see what we can do about her lips a little. Down her lips a little bit. Put a highlight. Skin tone, which adds a little bit of gold tint. So, eight percent white brush. Let's paint on her. Skin tone. So now that we've done that part, we're going to basically do the clarity, which is going to bring texture back into the image. So this part of it takes a little bit, a little while. So I'm going to follow it in. When it finishes, almost it's towards the end, I'll come back. All right, guys. So it's almost done. Uh, basically, what this does, it creates a surface blur. Or the image and it creates a texture it creates a texture layer that brings texture back into the image for clarity so as you can see and it automatically puts it at a feel of 35 percent 
So this is uh, the before and then the after. So depending on what you want to do, you can you can take it down more, or bring it up more, or give it less texture, more texture. But I usually keep it around 35, depending on this the size of the image. But in this case, this looks pretty good. Okay. <clears throat> so next, what I'm going to do is try to fix this patched area of this hair which shouldn't be hard. So we're gonna do we're gonna do a new stamp to a layer. And to do a new stamp to a layer you do uh, command option shift and E uh, on the Mac. I don't really know what it is for Windows but uh, for Mac is command option shift E. And it creates a stamp layer of everything that's basically below. So say R to rotate. Better workflow. And what are we gonna do? Uh, let's try. Let's try the patch tool and see how it works. So we're gonna select this gap area right here. And let's move it up. And see. What Job. This area right here. Try to get a nice, good area. Try to stay within the highlight area. area right here. Same deal. Okay. All right, we said to we got looks pretty good. Now we're going to do let's see if we can fix these areas. So we're going to do a dot and burn layer. And pick this color right here. So we can even it out. A micro dot and burn on the micro dot and burn. Lighten, let's see what we get when we lighten. That's a little bit better, but not really feeling that either. So let's try this. Let's do a clone. See what we get. So instead of doing it 37%, we'll do something a bit less, like maybe 10. So we we'll blend in a little better. That's better. And we'll do this area over here. So 
not perfect, but it'll do. So while we're still doing the, the clunk stamp, we'll fill this little bit of area in right here in the eye. Try to move this out a little bit. What I want to really do is I'm going to actually, when we're touching this to crop this, I'm going to crop it to the bottom. So one last thing that I do is, and this is up to your preference if you want to do this or not, but I usually do uh, a selective color. And on black, I just kind of uh, bump up the, the yellow and the, the yellow and the, uh, and the cyan color. So on the yellow, I usually go down on the blues. And on the scion, I go up. It just adds a little bit more drama to it. And blacks. Play around with the whites a little bit. Just to see what we get. Now we'll stick with that. And we'll do uh, heat saturation with the green area, the greens. Just kind of play with those and see what we get. Put those pop a little bit. Do a group. And now we just kind of. One other thing I want to do is I'm going to fix a little bit something here. So I kind of want to clean this out just a little bit. My arm. Put my arm inside. Drop the shoulder down.
see what we got. That's good. Very subtle. All right, so I think we're done. Almost done. So we just we'll scan the image one more time. Make sure that we pretty much fix everything that we need to fix. I know this is kind of tease, but let's get this little area right here. This is the clone stamp tool. Okay. And I think we're done. Once again, guys, I thank you for uh, watching my video. If you have any questions, um, please feel free to comment in my on the video. Uh, and also, if you have any questions for um, the young lady that uh, provided me with the the panel that we're touching. Uh, you can go to her website, BellaOrtizPhotography.com, or you can also visit her on her website at Bella Ortiz Photography. And once again, her website is BellaOrtizPhotography.com, where you can actually purchase the panel and the actions and her uh, beauty tutorial, which pretty much gives you the practice raw files, the action setups. The PSC files, you name it, um, everything is there, and it's for a really um, good price. And also subscribe to her page, and also you can subscribe to uh, my page, and so I'm actually photography. And if you have any uh, questions, feel free to hit me up. Thanks for watching, and you guys take care. Mm -hmm.